North American traders. Dicey little session here in Europe this morning where we had basically a wipeout in Euro Yen lower. Did not get to the year's highs of 134.50. In fact, we dropped basically 100 points to 133.46, which is our little support zone. Yesterday's breakup at the fix was 133.36. For this session, we feel like we can pick up some Euro Yen in this area here for a move back up to the top of the range. Been trading sort of tick for tick with the boons. Boons went straight higher today. We opened with a quick low down to 60, and then as you can see, they zipped right up to here, 163.46. Looks like we might be getting a turning bar here, but all bets are off. We don't really want to be short boons until we get below that 200 day moving average. I thought we might do that today, but. Turns out Boone's had some other ideas. Sterling Yen, as we said before, a bit overbought. Come down about 60, 70 points, but really meaningless in the scheme of this big up move. We still do think it's going to make a charge at this 152.80 level. Maybe today, but certainly in the coming days. Cable. had a bearish morning. We printed up to 43 and then as you can see on the hourlies little trick move there up to 43 and golf down straight down to a low of 77 which kind of fits into the support which was the breakout yesterday. We're still bullish sterling bumpy ride so gotta be nimble and gotta be disciplined but we're, we're we're still bullish as we speak it goes 05 bid um, definitely there are going to be a few stops above 135.50 today we'll have to uh, we'll have to see if New York has the energy for that we talked about selling Kiwi up at 60 today the high was 57, so we actually didn't get any any kiwi out there. Turn bar here this last hour, so you could even hit a bid here. But your stop has to be above 70. So depending on the risk reward and, and if you can sell a bit more up here, go ahead and hit a bid. But um, we'll see. Dollar CAD, we got lots of data out today. I gotta say, if it's negative GDP and employment today, this 129.15 area, very, very important. 200 days up there at 64, so there's room to breathe uh, as we go up that way. And if the data is is positive today for Canada we'll, we'll go back to our old friend CAD Yen and we'll have some entries topside CAD Yen if the data is negative as you can see we've we've retraced from a 57 high but we're still definitely in the higher highs higher lows area accumulation is, is the way to go I think here in the 20s uh, although you do want to be square going into this number, probably the best strategy would be just leave a stop above for the number um, and uh, if it's a strong one, try and ride that wave. Dollar max. We talked about it. It's happening. Broke this 67.80 level. A bit early in the day to get stuck into dollar max. Looks like an accumulation now. You can buy it, sort of 67.30 down to 65.30 for a push higher. Watch the dollar CAD price action. There is some correlation between the two of those. 
Lastly, let's just take a quick look at stocks all over the map last couple of days, but pretty bearish morning. As you can see, this red bar here, we, we went up to 42, didn't quite get up to 46, 45, 75 the high. But in the big, bigger picture thing of things, you're really not bearish until you get through 22, so not much to do in the stock world here. Still waiting on the tax news and a possible vote later today. These nitwits in, uh, in Congress. See how they can screw this crap up. Anyway, let's go back. Uh, one last thing. Euro sterling printed a new high marginally. This is going to be taking out some weak shorts. This is very, very important here. Still 87.96. We're within striking range of it. Close below that 200 day, it's going to open up the downside. And as you can see, lots of room on the downside for Euro Sterling. May not make sense to you, but keep in mind in foreign exchange, price never lies. So let's see how that 87.96 trades, if it trades. All right, we'll leave it at that. Uh, these Canadian numbers are going to be very, very important to create some vol, so have your strategies, bullish and bearish, Canada, dollar CAD through the highs, or CAD yen through the highs. Seems to be the, if CAD is strong and if CAD is weak, the best ways to monetize these numbers. That's it for now. Good luck today. Happy Friday. And we'll see you at the uh, Asian wrap-up. Ciao.